All right, welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. As you've seen from the thumbnail, I'm gonna try and make the Matchstick Man from Blade Runner. Having already tried to make the Origami Unicorn, and that went very, very badly, we're gonna see if we can do the Matchstick Man because uh, my sister actually suggested, why would you start with something crazy hard like Origami? But since this is gonna be hard, I think it's probably a good idea to get myself a nice little shot of the old Johnny Walker for good luck, if nothing else. And uh, we'll see how this ends up going here. Cheers and good luck to me. Okay, let's move these guys out of the way. I, uh, I happen to have right here our objective. That's what we're going to go for. Turning a match into that guy. Good lord, I hope this works. So, I think what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I'm just going to set down a little board for cutting these things on. And... I've got. A, I've looked up a couple of suggestions. Now, you would think, well, it's simple. You just cut yourself a little match. Now, I do happen to have a newly sharpened X-Acto knife. Rather than just give this thing a slice, uh, I looked it up online and it was suggested that also you should be soaking the matches. So I got some ones here that have been soaking for a while. Um, I think because a regular match is just going to split apart and splinter really easily um that's probably wise but let's let's just give it a whirl so i think this has got to be the simplest suggestion or the simplest design all i want to do is put his legs let's see what would that like do i just cut into this like that there are his legs maybe I know in the movie, Gaff kind of just splits them with his fingernail and gives them a quick blow, but hmm, okay, that's not really... That seemed to cut. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, and then, actually, you know what, while we're at it, let's do the arms. So if the legs are... Oh man, I can't even see. Okay, there's... There's the legs. Okay, so the arms would need to be... Here or something, maybe. I'm probably putting those arms too high. And here. I don't know if I needed to soak those other matches actually. Okay. In theory, I'll do the arms in a second, but Gaff just kind of splits the legs like that. Do I want to give it a little break so that it's got a hip, a hip bone, if you will. Uh, okay. Okay, so what do we got here? So we got some kind of legs. Can I get those little arms to come out that I made the incision? Wow, this is like, I should have had, uh, should have had magnifying glasses for this because this almost seems, well, hang on. Okay, hang on, just a second. If I cut, ooh, I think that arm is attached to that leg. If I do this, maybe give that a little, okay. Separate that out. And then can I pull that arm up? Ooh, he's got a very stubby little arm. Let's try and get the other one. Okay, yes, he's got incredibly short arms, as you can see there, but let's just see. Now, the other trick with the Matchstick Man is, in the film, Gaff can actually make him stand up, and that is because, if you can see in this, uh, in this screenshot, there is actually a third little leg right down there, which I think is kind of giving it the tripod effect. So, let's see if I can just get... Because that, he's not going to stand, no, he's just going to fall over. But if I maybe split off, ooh, I mean, he's almost there. Like, we've almost got him already. Pretty, uh, pretty close for my first attempt. Um, so what I want to do now is see if I can maybe, ooh, this is going to be tricky. I want to split a tiny little bit off here to act as the tripod leg. 
I don't think it's gonna work out here. But you know what? We'll give it a try. We'll just see what we can do. Luckily, there's no front or back to this guy, so if I make one of these legs way bigger than the other, then it'll be the front. If I make the other one smaller, it'll be the back. Hmm, that didn't seem to go. Man, oh man, this is tricky. Okay, let's give this another shot. I mean, there is a split in there. Come on. Let's just get... Okay, there we go. There we go. So now, I'll try pulling his arms out in a second. But let's just see. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no, no. I think we're starting to... I think this is all starting to fray here. This isn't really going to work. Is it? Too bad, because it... Oh, man, that's... Okay, well, hang, hang on. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> I've broken his knee. Uh, no. All right. You know what? Let's uh, let's set him to the side as my first victim. All right, that was, that was the practice run. Let's uh, give this another try here. So, again with a dry match. So it's just dig deep into there and... Whoops. Eh. Wow. Okay. Man, that is tough. And one arm here. I don't think it's gonna work, but okay, we'll give it a shot. Okay, okay. Right. Oh, hang on, hang on. Could we have done it? All right. Again, Gaff just seems to throw this together real quick. Gives it a quick blow for good luck and then uh, sets it down. Can I do the same? Come on. Uh, get the legs open. Ooh. Okay, I think I cut that one a little too high. This is probably why they suggest if you can do it with wet matches because that is splitting higher than I cut it. Pretty darn sure. Wow, this is trickier than I had anticipated. Okay, let's just give that a little bend outward. Come on, you can do it. Give me your... There we go. Okay. And then... Where's that split? I think it was... Oh, it's on there. Okay. I am using my fingernails. Ooh, look at that. There's the tripod piece. Ho, ho, ho. Can I get the arms to come out? Because that's already looking... Okay. Uh, you know, let, let's... I think I've got some material there to work with, so let's just see what we get here. I'm going to just see if I can get an arm to come out. You know, let's put that back down just so that I can now get an arm to pull out. Okay, there's one arm. I mean, he won't be able to stretch his arms out very far. Or at all. Okay, no, there he is. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay, come here. Come here. Oh! Okay, that's uh, not the greatest arm, but you know what? Maybe I'll take that. Let's see if we can get the other one. Like so. We might actually have it. Come on. Oh, it's his whole leg! Darn it! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I recover that? Can I recover that? Probably not. We're very close. Ooh, no, he's he's turned into some kind of weird mutant. Too bad, too, because I got the tripod leg going. Second victim. I'm going to need another shot. Okay. Let's see if they're right. If a wet uh, match is better. Legs. We'll uh, reconfirm with the picture in a second. Okay. Okay. So we've got two legs. That one is the thicker of the two. Can I make the little tripod piece to give it some stability if I do that? Ooh, I don't think that's going to work. We can try. Okay. So that's that way. Okay. Now arms. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got. So, split the legs apart, if I can, carefully. 
Just give me, give me a little bit, a little bit. What the? Ooh, okay, good, good. Actually, yeah, the um, the the fact that this match is wet means that it doesn't. It's less prone to just crack when I try to split those open. Okay. Unfortunately, the um, the striking material on the top seems to have gone all mushy, but that's okay. We're not striking this thing. We're just trying to get it to do its thing. Where's that little tripod piece now? Where did that go? There it is. There it is. I don't know if you can make that out. It's very, very small. Come on. Just, ooh, there you go. Okay. So that's that little back tripod holder and the legs. Now the arms. Where'd the arms go? Ooh, there's one. I mean, tiny little T-Rex arm, but I'll take it. And the other one. Ooh, I think the other one broke off. Okay. And then while I'm at it, there. Just, okay. Yeah, like I say, tiny little, tiny little T-Rex arms there. In fact, I don't think, well, we'll see what we can do about the arms, but I wanna just see, can I get the guy to stand? Cause this is tricky. Ooh, this is real tricky. Okay, hang on. Let's get you. Eh, might be able to make that work. Okay, hang on. Let's now extend a little tripod piece from the back here that just ain't gonna work okay Ooh. okay let's see what does that do yeah he doesn't want to stand now Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Ugh. Well, tricky. But you know what? It's not so much the making the guy as it is making him stand up. Oh. Oh, hang on. Nearly got him. I'll worry about his arms in a second, but. Whew. Darn it. He nearly stood. He nearly stood. Piece of junk. You know what? Maybe if I cut a little bit off that leg there, because it seems like he almost wants to stand up, but this leg is too long slightly. Let's just take just a fraction off there. Okay. Oh no, we're gonna lose the arm or the leg. Yeah, that's not gonna work. But look at that, he's almost standing. He's almost standing. Just not quite. Yeah, now, now he's lost his leg. Okay, well. Hmm, all right. Last attempt. This is it. After this, I give up. So. Legs will be from here. all the way down to here and make darn sure that the legs will open and in fact I'll even start them opening while I still have the blade in there see that's a smart idea so we'll give the head the top piece a bit of a wiggle okay good there we go he's got he's got his legs there um, of the two, this is probably more structurally sound here. Ooh, so I think what I will do is then make the little tripod piece that helps him stand up from here. That does not feel, I'm not confident that that's gonna hold. Okay, so uh, once again, bits of his head are already, yeah, see the, the match part actually gets it doesn't like getting wet. What a surprise. All right. So once again, he's going to stand with his two legs open there. 
And this little piece here will help him to stand upright and not go anywhere. Is that a very slight bend there? I'll give him arms in a second. I just want to see, can I even do this? Because if I can't do this, I might have to throw in the towel again on another little bit of, not so much origami, but uh, Gaff's artwork. Okay, little tripod piece to hold us up. Good. If we could just make these three legs behave themselves. No, that's not going to do it. It keeps... Oh, it's weird. I mean, it's, it's sort of... I almost think... Hey, if I could put a pencil in there to make all three of these pieces move away from each other. Okay, let's just give them a good, a good long stretch. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, he stood for a second, you little sneaky so-and-so. Okay. I'm very close. I am very close. Get an arm. Get an arm, and then make it come out. There's one arm. Get another arm. Definitely wet matches helps. Because trying to do this, the dry matches, it's going to just crack and break off. Good. There's going to be another little tiny flipper arm, but whatever. There we go. So, we have... We have an arm, I think. Yes, we have an arm. We have a slightly smaller arm, but I'll take it. Oh, part of his arm fell off. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. Arm, arm. We're good on the arms. Now, please stand again, buddy. Make this all worthwhile. Let me just see if I can, if I can just separate those out. You know what, I don't need the, um, the cutting board now. It might be easier for you to see this if I set that back there. Okay. Come on, buddy. Stand. Stand. Stand tall. Don't you fall. Actually, I've given him four little legs, but you know what? I'll take it. I need whatever I can for this little guy to stand up. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he needs a bit more, he needs a bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? He needs to be more widespread. In fact, I probably need, I'm sure as heck not going to recut this, but he probably needs these to be further up. Like the split needs to be higher up to uh, carry his center of, of gravity. There's his arms. Come on, man, just stand. You've almost got it. You've almost got it. All right, let's hang on. Hang on. Let's pull these little things back a bit. Heck, I'll take any of them. He's got four, he's got four legs now. Come on. Come on. You piece of junk. Get over and out and through. And people are losing their patience. This is getting to be a very long video now. Come on, man. We're in the finish line here. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Little mess. <gasps> he stands. He stands. Well, he doesn't focus very well, but he stands. I'm going to risk picking him up. Uh, there, can you make him out? Can you see his little arms? It's focusing on my hand, unfortunately. But he's, he's freeform. That's him. We got the little bat stick man. Yay! Fantastic. I'm very pleased. All right, there we go. 
I have made the little matchstick man from Blade Runner. Woo! That was uh, that was a lot trickier than I'd expected. <laughs> okay, gonna finish off my uh, Johnny Walker here. Until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.